Hello everyone, welcome to an another video of AutoQuest. My name is Bupender and guys today I have this Ultros with me and this is the XZ Plus S variant of Ultros and this is the dark edition. So I am going to cover this car in this video but before that if you are new to our channel please subscribe our channel and also press the bell icon to get the notification first and also visit our website which is carquestindia.com. Now let's start with the variants. So there are so many variants for Ultros. So XE is the base variant then XM XMS, XM Plus, XM Plus S, XT, XZ, XZ Lux, then XZ Plus S, this variant, then XZ Plus S Lux and XZ Plus OS. So all these variants are available and all these variants are available with different different fuel options. So you can check out the full chart on the screen. Now the color options, so there are five color options available. This is the dark edition, which is the black color. And there is a white color, gray color, blue color and red color available. So that was all about the variant and the color options. Now let's do a detailed walk around. Now let's check out the keys first. So you'll get these kind of two smart keys with this variant of Altros. There is the lock button, unlock button. This is to unlock the boot. And this is for the follow me headlamps. Now let me switch on the headlamps by this button and let's check out the headlamps first of this Ultros. So you'll get this these very big sized headlamps here, projector halogen headlamps given here. Down there you'll get the fog lamps and the size of the fog lamps is also quite big. And look at the front fascia of this Tata Ultros which looks quite cool in this dark edition. This glossy black finish grille given here, Tata's logo here and there is some chrome added in the front. And the lower part of the bumper has this some sportier design which makes this more nicer and the width of this Ultros is 1755 mm now let's check out the Ultros from the side and the side design of this Ultros is also quite cool and this looks very beautiful and the length of this vehicle is 3990 mm now the tire size given here is this alloy wheel which is of 16 inches and there is this front disc brakes provided the rear brakes are the drum brakes now the there is a dark badge on this fender because this is a dark edition ORVM size is also quite big but there is one other thing which is this blinker is on the fender which i really personally don't like and there is some this dark chrome added here on the ORVM also and these ORVMs are electrically adjustable and foldable all four door handles means the door handles for the front doors because the rear door door doors door handle are there on the c pillar so the door handles are of this body color and there is some this black color this side spats added here on the ultros and the b pillar has this black taping the size of the windows is also quite big for the ultros the ground clearance of ultros is 165 mm so this is the ground clearance now the fuel tank capacity 37 liters of fuel tank capacity given here for the ultros now let's check out the rear again the rear is quite fancy and it's made in such a way there are so many curves given here at the rear design and there is a shark fin antenna there is no spoiler but yes these sporty spats you can say are added here which obviously adds some beautiful looks or you this enhances the looks of this ultros from the rear defogger wiper washer given here there is a reverse parking camera and also two reverse parking sensors given for this variant and the size of these tail lights so these are the tail lights given and these are the normal tail lights there are no led tail lights given but look at this black taping on the tail lights which makes this more gorgeous now let me open the boot and for which there is a magnetic button yes partial tray also provided here with this variant now the boot space so the boot space is nice 345 liters of boot space with this Patrol and diesel version with the biofuel version you will get the dual cylinder technology so you will get lesser boot space there is the spare wheel which is of 14 inches this rim provided and in this bag the tool kit is placed so this is the boot the seat is the fully foldable seat there is no 60 40 split in the XZ plus S variant now now let's go to the rear seat and let's check out the rear seat comfort the door opening look at the door opening these doors open at 90 degrees now the seats 
so there is leather upholstery provided in this variant also and the interior the whole interior in this dark edition comes in the black color so this is again a very unique thing for this dark edition now there is a hand rest but there is no cup holders given and there is ample legroom here the wheel base is 2501 mm the legroom is good but thigh support is somewhat less so i feel two people can sit easily on these seats and there is this hump height very this is very low this hump is very low okay so three people can sit on these seats but for the long routes only two people will be more comfortable and the rear ac vents given here there is a a type charging socket provided there is some space i don't know for what and there are two headrest both the headrest can be adjusted and there are the grab handles given for both the passengers there is no cabin light given for the rear seat now let me go to the driver seat but before that the driver door has a access button to lock and unlock the car the driver door trim has this black color and there is this glossy black finish this handle and all four power windows control are here this is the controller for your or beams down there you will get a bottle holder and there is an umbrella holder also the seat comes with the height adjustment again now let's check out the or oh, there is the dark badge given on these headrests now let me enter the car and let's start the cars first so there is a push button start button and these are the switches for the fog lamp for the front and for the rear fog lamp now let me start the car okay so this is the d cut steering wheel leather app steering wheel given here and there are the controllers on the steering wheel these right side controllers are for the cruise control and to check out everything here in this driver's display and there is a very good size driver's display given here to the right of the this display this is the speedometer there is the rpm meter and in the center there is this display which has all the information and now the center console which has this very small this 7 inches touch screen music system and the music system comes from the Herman and the music is the quality of the sound system is quite nice and this has the these android auto apple car play and there is a auto ac unit so this is a auto ac given for this variant there is a a type c type and 12 volt socket and there is a wireless charging option also this is the gear knob for the dca version so this is a patrol car with the dca so with patrol you'll get a dc option and also the manual transmission with the cng you'll get only manual transmission and with the diesel you'll get the manual transmission only and there is the button to lock and unlock the all four doors and there are two cup holders this is the handbrake there is a handrest which can be adjusted and under this there is a small box which you can use the dashboard design is again very unique there is this texture given some glossy black finish and let me open this oh there is a button but the size of the glow box is very big and there is the illumination given and there is this separate compartment for your tablet or for your different papers so this is the glow box which is of good size irvm has is this manual adjustment irvm okay manually you can adjust the day night adjustment given this is the cabin light which is a very big cabin light and this is of white color and this is a button for this sunroof so there is a very small this electric sunroof given but oh it opens completely and there is good and it makes a good space here okay so this is the sunroof electric sunroof for this variant so that was all about the features and dimensions now let's go out and talk about the safety feature engine specification and pricing of this car now let's talk about the safety features and we all know that Altros got the 5 star safety rating in the global NCAP and this vehicle got the dual airbags, ABS, EBD traction control, ESP functionalities, reverse parking sensors and a reverse parking camera for this particular variant. Now the engine options, so this variant is available with a 1.2 litre Ravotron petrol engine which is at 
natural aspirated engine which produces the power of 88 PS and torque of 115 Newton meter if you are driving a uh, patrol ultros if you'll buy a ultros with CNG version this, this same engine will produce the power of 73.5 PS and torque of 103 Newton meter and there is a diesel engine also available which is a 1.5 liter turbocharged Revo torque engine which produces the power of 90 PS and torque of 200 Newton meter and if you want a turbocharged patrol engine a powerful engine then you'll have to go for the old rose racer which is uh, altogether a different car so that was about the engine options now the warranty so with this car you'll get a standard warranty of three years or one lakh kilometers and you can extend it further now very main thing which is the pricing so you can check out all the prices on the screen and all these prices are the actual prices you can, you can calculate the on-road prices as per the registration tax in your city or in your state so that was our video about this XZ plus s old rose dark edition if you love this car you can comment and tell us about it now we will see you in another video take care bye bye jai Hind.